Imagine a world where artificial intelligence or AI permeates every aspect of your life. It's not a far off future but a rapidly approaching reality, where AI is integrated into everything from the car you drive to the way you work and even how you're diagnosed with diseases. In this world AI has the potential to revolutionize industries, automate tedious tasks, and even help solve complex problems that have stumped humanity for centuries. It's an exciting prospect indeed. However, there's a paradox at the heart of this future. The more powerful AI becomes, the more we need to control it. Why? Well, because as AI grows more advanced, so does its potential for misuse. We're talking about issues like invasion of privacy, manipulation of information, and the potential for AI to make decisions that could have far-reaching, even life-altering consequences. That's where the concept of AI guardrails comes in. Think of these guardrails as a set of rules or guidelines designed to keep AI in check. They're meant to ensure that AI is used responsibly, ethically, and in a manner that benefits society as a whole. Guardrails could cover everything from ensuring that AI systems respect user privacy to preventing AI from spreading fake news, and even making certain that AI systems can't make decisions that could harm human life. But here's the catch. The task of implementing these guardrails on AI, however, is far from straightforward. It's a complex, multifaceted challenge that requires careful thought, robust debate, and a clear understanding of both the potential and the pitfalls of AI. As we venture further into this brave new world of AI, the question remains, can we create effective guardrails for AI? And more importantly, can we do it in time to prevent the potential misuse of this powerful technology? The challenge of regulating AI is not unique in history. In fact, it echoes previous attempts to control complex technologies, and we can draw on these historical experiences to shed light on our current predicament. Take for instance the advent of nuclear energy. When nuclear power was first harnessed, it promised an abundant source of clean energy, but it also brought with it the potential for tremendous destruction. Regulating nuclear power required a delicate balance between tapping into its benefits and mitigating its risks. Similarly, AI offers enormous potential for innovation and progress. But it also poses significant challenges, from job displacement to ethical dilemmas. The question of how to regulate AI, therefore, is akin to the problem of controlling nuclear power. How do we maximize the benefits while minimizing the risks? Another parallel can be found in the implementation of internet privacy laws. The internet, like AI, has transformed our lives in countless ways, but it has also raised serious concerns about privacy and data security. Regulating the internet has proven to be a complex task, requiring ongoing efforts to keep pace with evolving technologies and changing societal norms. This historical example offers a valuable lesson for the AI guardrails debate. Regulation is not a one-off task, but a continuous process that must adapt to the ever-evolving landscape of technology. These historical parallels show us that the task of regulating AI is not unprecedented. It is a complex challenge, yes, but it's one that we have faced before in different forms. And if history is any guide, it's a challenge that we can meet successfully, provided we approach it with the same level of care, foresight, and adaptability that we have demonstrated in the past. Just like these historical challenges, the path to AI guardrails is fraught with obstacles. But as we've seen before, with the right approach and the right mindset, these obstacles are not insurmountable. Navigating the world of AI guardrails is a complex task. These invisible barriers designed to keep artificial intelligence on the right track are a critical component of responsible AI deployment. But imagine for a moment the gargantuan task of establishing these guidelines. What should they be? How can we ensure they're effective? And what happens if AI learns to outwit these controls? Let's delve into these challenges. Firstly, defining the AI guardrails is no simple feat. It's like trying to set boundaries for a rapidly evolving entity that's constantly learning and adapting. And these boundaries aren't just technical, they encompass ethical, legal, and societal dimensions too. For instance, the European Union Parliament recently voted in favor of AI regulations banning certain uses of AI technology and marking AI systems used to influence voters as high risk. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Then there's the challenge of ensuring the effectiveness of these guardrails. It's not enough to merely have them in place. They must work. 
They need to prevent misuse, protect fundamental rights, and uphold our democratic values. This is akin to the challenges faced by the Department of Homeland Security, which recently announced new policies for AI use in securing the border. These policies aim to ensure AI is effective, protects privacy and civil rights, and avoids biases. Lastly, and perhaps most alarmingly, is the potential for AI to outsmart these controls. If we consider AI as a continually learning and evolving system, it's not entirely far-fetched to think that it might find a way around the guardrails we've set. This concern is not just hypothetical, it's a reality we must prepare for. These challenges underscore the complexity and urgency of the AI guardrails debate. As we continue to push the boundaries of what AI can do, we must concurrently develop and refine the guardrails that keep it in check. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires constant vigilance, rigorous testing, and a commitment to prioritizing the well-being of society above all else. Europe's recent AI Act provides a concrete example of the challenges of AI guardrails. The European Union Parliament has recently voted in favor of a series of regulations on artificial intelligence demonstrating their approach to this complex issue. These regulations, collectively known as the AI Act, include a ban on AI technology for biometric surveillance, emotion recognition, and predictive policing. It's a bold move, aiming to promote human-centric and trustworthy AI while protecting fundamental rights and democracy. AI systems are required to indicate that the content they generate was produced by AI. This is a significant step towards transparency, but it also raises questions about how far we should go in demarcating the boundary between human and AI-generated content. The AI Act also categorizes AI systems used to influence voters as high risk, reflecting the EU's concern about the potential misuse of AI in the political arena. This categorization, however, has sparked debates about what constitutes high-risk systems and how they should be regulated. Here's where it gets interesting. OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, has expressed concerns about the proposed EU rules, yet he has no plans to withdraw ChatGPT, an AI system that has gained significant popularity from Europe. This illustrates the tension between the desire to innovate and the need to regulate. The AI Act is now set to enter talks with EU member states for further refinement. It's a clear sign that the EU is committed to ensuring that AI in Europe complies with EU rights and values. But as with any new legislation, it's bound to face challenges and criticisms. European Parliament members are optimistic that the AI Act will provide a robust response to the potential dangers of AI and protect democracies and freedoms. Yet, the Act's effectiveness remains to be seen, and the debates about its implementation are likely to continue, as the AI Act shows the road to effective AI guardrails is long and winding. So, where do we go from here with AI guardrails? It's a question that's on the minds of many as we consider the future of this technology. As we've seen, the path to effective and ethical AI guardrails is fraught with challenges, but it's a journey that we must embark upon nonetheless. Looking ahead, we can expect to see a further tightening of regulations, much like the AI Act being proposed in Europe. This legislation aims to enforce human-centric and trustworthy AI, safeguarding fundamental rights and democracy. Future AI systems might be required to identify themselves as non-human, and those used to influence voters could be classified as high risk. These are just some of the potential guardrails we could see implemented to ensure AI aligns with our rights and values. Yet regulations are only half the story. Technological solutions will also play a crucial role in shaping the future of AI guardrails, for instance. We might see the development of more sophisticated algorithms that can better differentiate between accurate and false information. Or, AI systems could be designed with inbuilt checks and balances to prevent them from making decisions that could harm humans or violate ethical norms. Moreover, as with any societal issue, education will be key. It's vital that we all stay informed about the developments in AI and its guardrails. This isn't just a matter for tech enthusiasts or AI developers, it's a topic that affects us all. Whether it's through the news, academic articles, or informative videos like this one, we need to keep the conversation going. Remember, AI is a tool, and like any tool, it's up to us to decide how it's used. It's our responsibility to ensure that it's used in a way that benefits humanity while minimizing the potential for harm. This will require continuous vigilance, rigorous testing, and an ongoing commitment to ethical standards. 
The path to effective AI guardrails won't be easy, and it will likely be filled with trial and error. But it's a path that we must tread. The future of AI guardrails is still being written and we all have a role to play in this story.